Welcome to this Age of Empires 4 video and today we're going to do the fastest possible Imperial Age time with the Holy Roman Empire. At least we're going to try and attempt to get that. As you guys know, I love doing these kind of challenges. I've done it with uh, Age of Empires 2. Now we're going to try and do it with Age of Empires 4. It should be a fun attempt. And we can use the Holy Roman Empire for obvious reasons, of course. They uh, get the Palace of Swabia for cheaper and the Arkham Chapel acts as a drop-off point recently from the new patch. A little bit broken there. Of course, we've got the Prelate doing inspirational work, quite literally. Yeah, I want to get up to four villages on gold, I think, here. And we're going to push in here. We're going to maintain a basically a standard build, I reckon. So we're going to aim for a standard build for Feudal Age. No problem. We've got a bit of leeway with the pushing deer. We just want to make sure the villages are optimized. I was planning to push that village to gold, but actually, we just wait for the next one from the town center to come out to go to gold. Come on, deer, get closer, will you? The deer are really hard to push in this game compared to Age of Empires 2, that's for sure. A bit of idle time there, not ideal. Should have pre killed that sheep. All efficiencies like that actually make a big difference, I guess. We didn't get a village off to gold, actually. We'll do it now. And uh, because these villages aren't inspired, I probably could take Pud actually. How many have I got there? Six. Walking distance is not worth it. What I'm going to do, once I've got 200 gold, I'm going to use the villages of gold to build the Arkham Chapel. Because they won't be inspired either way, so. I'll get a bit closer. Attaboy. How are we doing? Food cow. Oh, we've got quite a lot here. Okay, we're gonna, oh, yeah, we're gonna take gold villages to do it. My plan is, is so once we get the villages on gold, build the Ark and Chapel, as long as we've got 10 villages um, being inspired, then I'm gonna start sending new villages to gold, and on the way they're gonna be inspired, hopefully. We're just gonna have to try and micro for that to happen. And anyway. Do we have enough gold now? Good rather. That should cover it. What does that cover the deer? It does actually, thankfully. And I've got 10 villages on food being fired, so I'm going to send the new villages to gold. Gotta make sure they're inspired on the way though. Yeah, so it's going to be inspired at least temporarily. I don't know how much of a big difference that will make, but it'll do something. Go for the deer first. We can always move the sheep later. We need to build a house, don't we? Once this villager loses inspiration, we can use this villager to build. Those four villagers need to go to gold. Send the pellet yet? I don't think so, actually. Ah, jeez, Louise. Uh, where'd that deer go? Where over there. Yes, I think everyone else goes to food now. He's done head back. That's good. Okay, we just need one more villager to go to wood now, so we can get another house. We certainly would like another house, now we need to get some sheep actually. Oh, we need quite a bit more gold actually. Oh, got a lot of food here. Need some more sheep, guys. We need sheep. Oh, 
three sheep there, that's very nice for us. I think we'll build the next landmark with two villagers, I think. That should be enough. How much deer have we got left on that carcass? Mm, let's get on villager around. Oh, do we not get village on wood? Oh, oh that's a problem. Uh, we should have really chopped that tree with one villager. Wasted the animation time, I think. Here's what it is. Ooh, uh, two villagers off. off. Let's go for three, actually. I can always pull them back off. Now we need 960 gold. Another villager on gold, actually. Food what we need. Oh my god, no sheep, this is actually really bad. Hmm. Wonder whether we can manage this without some more sheep. Just bring those sheep. We've got too much on gold actually. Get one more of gold there. I hope there's more sheep there. Would have thought there'd be some sheep around our base, but apparently not. Need a lot of food, actually. Oh my god, there's no sheep picked up on that run. Be bad. Oh, I could see a sheep there, I'm not sure. Anyway, we shall see. Oh, something there. Get that over. Where's that villager going? Right there. Okay. Oh, actually, no, 960 is what we need. Oops, that's a bit of a blunder there. So, once one more drop off in these, they just need to go to food. Let's build 825 ticked up. A few more villagers gonna come out. Um, I swear, if there's a sheep there, that's gonna be annoying. But anyway, it is what it is. We should be under nine minutes, which is what my target was. Uh, yeah, be good. Oh, will we get under nine minutes? Yeah, we should, we should, we should. But this number of villagers, surely, right? 845, it's not bad, not bad. 850, yeah, under nine minutes. There we are, guys, Imperial Age at nine. Sorry, 849, I think it was, yeah. 849, there we are, GGs. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, do give the video a thumbs up. If you could do better, let me know. I, I think we didn't do the perfect run, but it was still pretty decent. Alright, take it guys, and see you next time.